So that was a really great interview with Dr. Biadogu, where we learned so much about stroke. But what we're going to do now is we're going to listen to a patient, somebody who actually experienced a stroke. Let's listen to him and learn how he dealt with it when it happened to him. Mr. David Dallas, welcome to the Health Zone. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Dallas, I know you had a stroke recently. Can you tell us what sort of symptoms you experienced and what you were doing at the time? And we were at a meeting uh, discussing, and I was even the chairman of the meeting. And all of a sudden, I just discovered that I couldn't lift my right leg and um, I told my next door colleague uh, that I, I was having a problem with my leg. And he asked me, what do you feel is happening? I think it's a stroke. He said, it's what? I said, it's a stroke. Interestingly, another lady, a member of the council also, was present and I called her. I said, look, Lizzie, I'm having a problem. And he looked at me, no, they want me to go to the hospital. And they took me to the hospital. What did she see, though? You, you told me earlier about something on your face that she noticed. And what she said, she noticed that my, the alignment, my eye and the nose were on different level. Wow. And that was what she saw and felt, like I felt, like it was a stroke. So what are you doing right now to take care of yourself with, with this? So what kind of therapies or treatments are you getting? I had to start relying on the physiotherapist to get me or to put muscles or strength to the right leg and make it a little bit more active. Our exercises, regularly you have to be doing that. Yes. And number two also is to make sure that I get myself engaged in activities that can brighten my day okay. because you have to be very careful that you don't from that go to a depression depression absolutely because that's a big change yeah. a big health change for you having a stroke right. right when you think about what you know now what would you tell someone else out there who's watching this show mm. what would be your advice to them to, as to what to do to possibly prevent a stroke well, I, I can just say that uh, you have to be very, very observant. Everything about your body counts. Yes. Uh, it's not just uh, having a slight headache or having anything that is responsible for it. Well, Mr. Debo Dallas, thank you so much for joining us on the Health Zone. Your, 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 your views and your experience with, with stroke, I'm hopeful and I'm confident will be of a great benefit to a lot of our viewers. So again, we're deeply appreciative of your being here. Thank you very much for joining us on the show. Thank you. My goodness, that was amazing with Dr. Ogumbo. I learned so much, I don't know about you, but he talked about so many things. So I'm just gonna recap some of the most important things. The first thing he said is that the single most important thing you can do to prevent stroke is to manage your blood pressure. Yearly checkups are very important. If you have high blood pressure, you should receive monthly blood pressure tests from the hospital health center or clinic and please use your medications as prescribed. Know the signs and symptoms of a stroke, not just for you, but for someone you love. He mentioned the acronym FAST, F-A-S-T. F, facial droop. A, arm weakness or drift. S, slurred speech. T, Time is brain. That simply means it's an emergency. Seek help immediately. The best way to prevent stroke from high blood pressure is to take steps to lower blood pressure. And these steps include a combination of medication and lifestyle changes. Changes such as healthy eating, exercising, maintaining a healthy weight, stop smoking if you smoke, stop drinking, and of course, manage your stress. 
This has been a wonderful show. Thank you so much for joining us on The Health Zone. And as always, this is Dr. Toju saying, stay healthy.